man here, still drinking my coffee, but I figured while well, it stopped raining for a little bit, I'd come out and take a little walk with the girls and uh, the big boy. So let's see what they're up to. And before I show the footage of the chickens, I just got to apologize in advance. I'm painting all over the place. I'm very, very sorry. I'll try and be more careful. I know it makes you dizzy. It makes me dizzy to watch it. So in advance, I apologize. Got one straggler here, but for the most part, they kind of keep pretty close together. I think they're doing pretty good. They haven't gone like all the way to the street yet, but I figure I'm just going to stay out here with them just for a little while because I don't know. I just want to. I want to make sure they're doing okay. And a little while ago, um, Romeo was sounding the distress alarm and they all started running back into the coop area so I don't know if he noticed that something bad was out here or not but I didn't see anything so there's gonna be lots of worms to be had for these beautiful chickens today just look too hard rocks are looking more gorgeous every time I look at them this one here I have named her she's gonna be Coco because she's got those cocoa feathers kind of on her if I could get her breast it's really pretty with all the brown feathers on them she's not going to turn around for me though and if you look at the leghorns up against the other girls of course that's Patsy there she's the smallest one um, they're not that different in size anymore and I think that Romeo has chosen a favorite hen and that is Patsy Patsy is always by his side <sighs> It's been pretty blissful since he's came around. Hey, Coco. Let's see if we can zoom in on you. Get a decent shot of you. I don't know if you can see the pretty brown feathers. But that's going to be one pretty chicken. And the Asian blacks. Um, well, that that's a... Um, black Asian or Asian black, whatever. Um, some of them are starting to get kind of like a... Let me move slowly. Whoops. As I was saying, the Asian blacks, in the sunlight, they're starting to get kind of like almost a dark, dark greenish hue across the backs of their feathers. So, I don't know. They're going to develop into some really awesome looking chickens. Look at them. They're so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to keep Coco. And I'm going to keep one of the rocks. Don't know which one. Mr. Lucas gets his choice of the rocks. He, he's going to take one rock. And I think two of the black Asians. So um, maybe he'll take the, the two biggest ones. That's a big one there. And I think that's another big one there. So they're doing great, you guys. Look at that beautiful rooster. And despite them being big meanies, these girls get prettier every day too. Their combs are starting to get a little bit redder. Kind of hard to see in this dark light, but they are starting to get some color on them. Won't be long, maybe a few more weeks, three or four more weeks before maybe some eggs, hopefully. Maybe a couple weeks, I don't know. I know that they say their combs have to be really red before, I mean that's a sign that they're going to start laying, so I don't know, maybe I'll have eggs soon. I'll be surprised if I get any before next spring. We'll just have to wait and see. Well it's starting to rain a little bit so I'm going to go up on the porch and Let's just wait and see if these chickens come in out of the rain on their own. They did before, so hopefully they will this time, too. Well, let's see who we got here. See, Romeo's telling them, come on, girls, time to go inside. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got Romeo, one, two, three of the girls, four of the girls. They're all inside. Great. Um, I think I'm going to just close this uh, coop door up. I don't know. Maybe the, the outside one, maybe I should close that and just let them go in and out. I don't know. I'm going to have to make a decision here because it's starting to come down. I went ahead and closed that door, the outside door to that little chicken cage. 
maybe they'll stay in here, I don't know. It wasn't supposed to start raining this early yet, but chickens don't seem too bothered by it. Oh, that little uh, flock block, that one part right there accumulates a lot of water. So I've moved it over here. It's still out of the rain. The water drains off of that a little bit better. Doesn't matter. Chickens will still eat it. I just don't want it to get moldy. So, well, if they want to be outside, they've got cover over there. They've got food and water over there, food and water in the van. The only thing is I hate all this moisture because the ventilation is not ideal. In this van, when it's not raining, I leave this back door open and the second window open over there. I leave that window open and this door open and it seems the ventilation is pretty good. But on days like this, you know, it's just so damp. So I need to kind of keep checking things, make sure everything's healthy on the inside of that coop. Ooh, here comes the rain. I better get on the porch. And I just wanted to show you guys what this clay mud gets like. I mean, it is just like, you can stick your whole, it just is like, snot basically so I try not to walk in the areas where it's really wet clay mud and imagine that van trying to get up and down a drive when it's got all this underneath of it man I bet you I could collect some of that and make bricks out of it pottery or something it's just outrageous I hate it This could go on for hours. <laughs> My neighbors probably hate us. <laughs> I think that's enough rooster crowing. One more, come on. Brings me so much joy. Mmm, turnips. I wonder how much longer till they're ready. Hopefully, not too much longer. There's a squirrel up there somewhere. Is that their mating call? I can't see it, but I can hear it. <laughs> I've been hearing this all over my woods. Crazy. First I thought it was a bird, but then I got a close shot of one, and it's a squirrel making that sound. I can't see it though. Can you guys? It's high. It's high up in that tree. And they have eaten almost all of those greens that came up initially, but you know what? There is more coming up. I think they like eating the greens more than they do actually eating the seeds. So that's a bonus. I just got to tell you guys, I got something on my mind. So I think I'm just going to take, um, I don't know. I always say I'm going to take a couple days off. I might end up taking one. Um, I've got some things that are not video related that I'm working on and whatnot. So, um... I don't know. Every once in a while, you just got to step away. <laughs> I, I seem to be doing it a lot lately, don't I? So, uh, I think I'm just going to cut this video here and uh, enjoy my chickens. And I don't know if I'm going to start that apple butter today or not. It's really not that cold outside. Um, so, it's going to really heat up in the tiny house and it's going to be raining all day. I don't feel like sitting out in the rain doing the apple butter. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get it started on the... Um, on the propane stove and then transferred over to the wood burning stove when it starts cooling down a little bit. But I make sure to get it done. <laughs> One last chicken is left to go up into the coop. It didn't start pouring down rain, but it's supposed to here pretty quick, so oh no, they're they're in the little cage. They're all roosting in there. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.